All right, Jamie, where are we at right now? We are in the heat wall. Okay. The second level of the storage, the loft area, where all the Supreme, but I keep all the cool Yeezys and the, the PEs and the, the, like the grills. Okay. Now, what are those fours right there? Because I don't really recognize those. This is a University of Marquette Force. I think it was late 2012 they released these. PE, something like the Oregon or the UNC that they released. Uh, yeah, very valuable shoe. Um, I don't know how many, and in, in, I know it's a promo sample. I know there were samples, but I don't know how many in, in the world they exist. But they go around three to four grand, I want to say. Three to four grand. You think that's the most expensive shoe in the section? I mean, next to the Yeezys, not, yes and no. Okay. Because I had a Red October, but that sold. And this is up in the, the, the 15 to 2000. Yeah, that's um, the, uh, the, the fragment ones. I mean, when these came out, they were 12. Uh, these are about 16. The Yeezy, the Yeezy are three to four grand though, easy. Oh, these. These are very expensive too. These are the, the Warhawks. Yeah. Uh, Air Maxes, unappreciated shoe now. They're about like two grand. You, you know, they were, uh, remember that they did that on Air Max Day? They, they, oh, the they did the poll to bring back. I actually voted for those because those were actually my favorite out of the bunch. You know, it's crazy. I had two pair of size 11 and one 11 and a half. I would have gave you one. Damn. What, what <laughs> happened to it? I sold it. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I got them cheap too. I think I bought them at uh, a buck 50 each. Damn. How much you sell them for? I, five to seven. Five to seven. Okay. Right. So, w which of these shoes, you know, outside of the Warhawks you just, you know, talked about and the four Yeezys? To four, to, four to seven grand. Four to seven grand. Yeah, the Freddy Cougar. Flight House went up at seven right now, six. But there's a few versions. There's a cartoon one, and then there's this one, and then there's another one. Now, why did the Freddy Krueger sell for, the, uh, for so much? Because they never got released. They were just a sample. It was they, some copyright shit. Uh, they never saw a liar day, which is one of my favorite SBs. I think my favorite concept in shoes is SBs in general. But this is, this is top. My brother wants this, and I'm like, hell no. <laughs> like, I can't buy it for him. Like, it's, it's college. I really, I really spend it in his college. Sure. Now you got the pair of Norman uh, foams. Yeah. Shout out to Perfect Pair. I had a size swapping for his wife. And uh, I think this is the six. Oh, this is a seven. I had a six and a half. And she needed the seven. Now, what oh, was no. the She needed the six and a half. And, and how much did those cost? Uh, two grand. Two or okay. three grand. Now, go ahead and grab them again. Um, why are these so expensive? Okay, you had a Wendy's. Uh, I forgot when the movie came out, I think it's 2012. Yeah, around when the, the foam hype was up. The movie came out and you had to do your weirdest uh, avatar picture on Twitter and then you get selected and you win them. So there's only selected a few that won them. There's only like 200 or I forgot how many pairs. But yeah, that's why there's so much because they never hit stores or anything like that. Okay. They glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. Oh, they actually glow in the dark? Mm hmm The the sole or the whole shoe? Uh the sole. The sole. I actually like how the box came because it was something about death or whatever. So when you take out the, the ripping around the, the, the box, it said undead stock. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> undead stock. Okay. So so you got both the OVOs. Uh right? so the black and the white ones. I feel like when the when the OVOs first came out, it was like crazy resale, but now they're down to like 450, 500. This one's still up. I remember the first one I came into the shop back at Riff, I sold it at a thousand. Mm -hmm. It came in and I sold it in five minutes to this cat that was trying to spend money and I was just like, hey, buy these. I, was, I made that sell pretty quick. This, that went up. It came out at uh, 250 retail and then it was at 900 for a while, went down to five and then went back up to seven. Okay. This, I was thinking this is the cool one out of the both, but um, this one's kind of at 400 brand new right now. Retail is 250 plus tax 275 with some change, and then so it's not looking too bright for this one. That's too bad because I really like that one. I, yeah, I like this one a lot. Yeah, I may actually cop that at some point. <laughs> We it. have been at 11. <laughs> I, th I'm actually, I actually ended I up... I think you're 10 and a half on that, though. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a 10 and a half on that. Yeah, I thought we would check if we have it. Okay. So, you got the Space Jams there. Uh, yeah, we have okay. a few A few releases. Space Jams. Okay. I think I had the 2000 version, too. Okay, so this go ahead and grab them real quick. 2009. So, 
The Space Jams are coming back out again. Yep. Okay. Now, what happens when a shoe gets stated for uh, re-release? To all, all these like older shoes, like do they start dropping in value? Oh, incredibly! This was at 800 top of the year after announcement, 500. Damn. Yeah. So it lost off. like 40 percent just right just out of the. Just off the top. Okay, so basically, if you're a shoe reseller, you wanna make sure you sell your shit before a re-release gets announced. You just got. I mean, if you're a reseller, you gotta know what's hot. The 11s are always a good one. I know they're they're bringing this back out. Oh, really? Yeah, a snakeskin thing like that. And they're bringing out the, um, they're bringing the red one as well. The real cherry 11 low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's coming out June something. Yeah, yeah they're bringing that the out. Cherry, cherry that's always lows. cool. Summer shoe, I'm telling you, 11's on the, on the low for the summer. It's always great. Um, they did 13's last year though. But you gotta know what's hot or not. Uh, Paris 10's? That's not... I saw people sit on those, like, people had stacks, and they're, like, pre-orders, but they're, like, going for retail, basically. But you gotta know what's hot or not. Jordan, Jordan brand's always hot, but depends if it's in a flop or not. Okay, so, so you got the easy ones, the twos, the Adidas 350s, and the Adidas 750s. Yeah. So where's the easy market right now? High. <laughs> Higher than there's ever been. Yeah. Actually, this one kind of dropped. This was almost at two grand, but as soon as the announcement happened, about 2016 release, yeah. it went down to uh, about 12 to 900, 900, 1200. So yeah. that was pretty high up. And I, I mean, I actually have the 2016 release and the 2015 release. Yeah. It's slightly different. There's a few small, subtle changes. I hear it's height, the padding in the back and the inside, yeah. and that's about it. That's about know. it. Probably a little darker shade, probably. Okay. Now, what, go ahead and grab the 750s real quick. And the, the gray ones, too. Oh, okay. So, so what's, the, what's the hotter 750 these days? Market-wise? This one. Three to four grand. Three to four grand now? Yeah. Damn. Remember when you got a fake one? Yep. <laughs> I got my money back, though. He's like, yo, can you? No. Nope. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me walk into the store. No. Nope. No. Nope. Fake. No. Nope. I know this one's real that you have because it came from me. So. Right. If it ends up being fake, we got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. You call me up. <laughs> I smile them off, so I know. Okay. So, do they actually fix the zipper on the 750s? On, on the black ones? <clears throat> uh, they did a different zipper. I don't know if you ever showed it, but this is a metal one. And on this one, it was a plastic one. Uh. And uh, that one was have, giving people a lot of trouble. Um, I s Perfect Parrot told me that he had found a chocolate one, and he wanted me to check it. And oh, I, I yeah. never seen a chocolate one. So I've seen pictures, because it's got sort of like, like a clear heel, a clear sole. Yeah. So I, he showed it to me. It was off. I told him, don't, don't even try it. But the zipper on, I don't even know if that's accurate or anything. Oh, it starts sounding like DJ kind of accurate. Accurate. Um, because the zipper only went down so far in the one he showed me. So I don't know if that was real or not. It only went down to like, yay, like down here. Yeah. So you know, I, I never seen a chocolate one, but supposedly you know, that, was, that one was real. But I told him to stay away. The bottom looked very different. It looked like a like a like a like an actual like teardrop. It went down skinny and then it, like open up. Wait, you still want to talk about it? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, hyped up. No market value, about three to four. Yeah. Roughly seventeen to two. Really? Yeah. Drop. Because yeah, I remember when I uh, when I did a swap with you back in Riff, I actually had a, a choice whether I wanted the gray ones or the black ones. I chose the black ones. You should have gone with this. The gray, because they're more expensive. Yeah, but I, oh, I, but you, you tried them on and you were like, I can look more cooler with this. Well, because I was gonna wear them. Yeah, yeah I saw you wear them uh, with on that interview. Yeah, I did the the, the Vlad TV live with Lord Jamar. I actually yeah, wore them. Lord Jamar. Yep. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, man. Now, now, what about the the Nike Yeezys? How are the prices on them these days? <sighs> No, nah, that's a difficult one. To me, they're, I want to say 11 to 15 right now. Okay. In my head, I would pay. 
Right. Because last time you As told me consumer. that the, the black solar ones... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You're talking about the, the black the, the, the black solar twos are mm -hmm. now outselling price wise the, the Red Octobers. Yeah. Five. Four five to five. Thousand? Red Octobers are four to five. So okay. roughly the same. This is kind of creeping up. It was at like 16, 18. Right now it's at like 32. Goof. This one, these, these been sleepers, man. And I feel bad because I actually like these a lot, but they only going for so much. Right. This is getting uh, brought back out. The Air Max Day, these won. I actually wanted uh, those to win, or I forget what you're trying to say this show. These are dope, too. Oh, geez. The Ducks. Travis actually bought the white one of these two days ago when he came Travis in. Travis Scott. Yeah, he came in and he bought the white one, and... I didn't think I had, I'm trying to get them the black one right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. All right. So yeah. Okay, so when I came up here, I noticed you actually had some easy season one clothing. Yeah. Okay, so you got, uh, got the sweatshirt and the hoodie. Sweatshirt and a hoodie. Now, how much do those go for? <sighs> 350 and 550. I mean, is that pretty much retail? I Honestly, I don't even pay attention to these shits because you can buy these at, at your local Target. <laughs> and you can say the quality may, I can't even, I don't know what the quality is on this or how comfortable this is, but I wouldn't pay, I would pay 80 bucks, a buck 20, yeah. the most. Yeah. But I remember uh, my boy Kais, he, I had a Yeezy season one, the, the camel shirt. He paid a hundred bucks, he was like, yeah, I'll take it. I was like, what the hell? I mean, it's a regular camo shirt, man. No, yeah, I mean, I think the problem with, with Yeezy clothing is that it doesn't look distinctive enough to justify the price. No, that's the conversation we had, that, that you, you spend all this money on this. If you walk down the street in this, I would not know it's Yeezy season. Yeah, even knowing what you know about Yeezy. Yeah, even, know, even being a fan of the shoes and all that, I would not know what the hell this is. Right. If it's, anybody can walk down, like... You would not know. Yeah, it's almost you got to wear it with the shoes for people to kind of notice, and it's just like you gotta kind of have to wear the whole outfit. Yeah, you gotta have to wear the the whole uh, the long sleeve thermal with the extended tee and the cut off shorts with the extended thermal pants, but yeah. all that. But this is not. I don't know. Teach his own, you know. But I mean, yeah. think about it. We all wore uh, throwbacks at a point because of Jay Z. Yeah. So, but you knew what those were, but. Teacher's own, this is probably their throwbacks, clothing nowadays, but to me, it's just regular ass clothes. So you're looking at definitely maybe over $100,000 worth of product. I mean, compared to the amount of Yeezys that there's in stock, probably closer to a million after it's all calculated. On the website, there's a little over a million. What is the one Jordan model that more people ask for than anything else? One in one, three, and four. One, three, and four. And then six. And the six? Okay, what about the colorway? Like, if you, if you, like, if you original. Say, original colorway is the, the one to go. 